Welcome to a very special edition of Cavan Online Community Radio. I'm your host, Daniel Downey, today, but I'm not going to be bringing you into the show. It's going to be brought to you by our special out-and-about host and radio reporter, Patsy Sheridan. That's right, he was at A Taste of Cavan last week, and he brought quite a few snippets, interviews, bits and pieces. So if you were at A Taste of Cavan, if you were interviewed by Patsy, tune in, listen, and you might hear yourself singing, talking, and just enjoying all the good tastes from that beautiful and fantastic annual festival. So let's go over to our host, Patsy Sheridan. Food, glorious food, we're anxious to try it. Three banquets a day, our favourite diet. Just picture a mammoth steak, fried, roasted or stewed. Oh, food, wonderful food. A lot of the stuff. Right. Really enjoyed it. Lovely food. We did, and bought their sausages. Oh. <laughs> and rasher. <laughs> yes, we did. Because I have uh, families coming to me on a Sunday morning, the two oh, families. So, so we always have a breakfast. <laughs> I even bought the box tea here as well from a cousin of my own. Yeah, very good. A lot of variety. You're tasting everything. Tasting everything. Great Irish products. You couldn't get any better. Well, that's good. Yeah, so I'm enjoying myself, yeah. Spending lots of money. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm Susan Wiggins from Old Castle, and this is really a fantastic show, and there's a great variety of stands, and it's most enjoyable. And it's wonderful to see a dude like this coming to the lovely county of Cavan. Well, Patsy didn't just interview some of the bystanders, attendees and participants. He also went and sampled a lot of food and ended up chatting to some of the stall holders. So here's a little spatter of collections of stall holders. Uh, My name is Mila, uh, Mila Hoja, and uh, I represent today the company Big Good Love. You see, we have a very nice combination of flavors. Uh, We have lemon poppy seed and lemon curd. we have uh, chocolate, uh, chocolate and apricots. Uh, we have uh, amazing new product, which is Swirly Bites, and it's a combination of vanilla and apricots and uh, strawberry, all in the same you know, product. We have a new product in the market, and this is the Apple Twist. Oh, yeah. uh, so Apple Twist is a product that helped us to break through on the Irish market. So uh, whenever company was only nine weeks in business, uh, due to this product, we managed to get to 12 super value stores. And then this product participated as well in little competition, Taste of Success, uh, where we became the original finalist. So it's a very different product. It's a snack, so you can enjoy it you know, anytime, you know, on the go, and um, extremely popular. Barry, how's it going? How you doing, Patsy? How are you yeah, keeping? Not too bad. Tell us all about your Barry John sausages. Yeah, we've um, just a full range of different sausages here now. There. No, we've a range of different pork sausages. We've over 32 different flavours in total for them. Um, ranging from our all, we won all Ireland this year for our bacon and cabbage sausage. And again, last night, we most recently as far as last night here to taste the cabin, we won for the caramelised red onion for the new product here at the Taste of Cabin which is a great help now we have range of different flavours from all types cheese and onions curry chopped leek even as far as the chocolate chip and honey home one for the for you Patsy now I know you'd love them ones <laughs> where do you come up with these weird ideas oh no there's a lot of trial and errors and, and uh, tasting yeah there. we well, we're on the internet it's uh, we've Crow's Butchers in Cavan Town there yeah. is, is our base but um, Barry John Sausages is, is the, the, the business to name that it goes under. You make this food yourself? I do indeed, yes. Make it in Belfast. And what's your name? My name is Jenny Laurie, and the company's called Black Thorn Foods. Yeah. It's on the internet? And yes, I've got a web page and a web shop. How many 
flavors of food, excuse me. We have 15 different flavors and oh, 10 of which have got the great taste. 15! 15. <laughs> 10 have got the great taste award and we just won a two star at this year's great taste awards on the chocolate orange fudge. Well done. I know. Fergal Quigley. And you're involved with Dinkins? Dink Dinkins Bakeries, yes, across Cavan and Monaghan. Yeah. How long are you on the go? We're on the go, I think they started way back in sort of the 60s, 70s. Right. So they did start with one little shop, little oven, and we now have uh, approximately 10 outlets. We do um, a range of fresh baked breads. We have the likes of your wheat and bread. We also have a range of breads for celiacs, the spelt. Um, we also have the gluten-free sweet stuff as well. We have um, Margaret Dinkin who makes wedding cakes and examples up in here behind me. Um, we also do all specialised cakes for any occasion. Have you, are you on the internet? Or? Yeah, dinkinsbakery.com. There's a website there where you can see our full range of products and where exactly all our shops are based and what we do. What is your ice cream called? So the name of our ice cream company is Ice Cream Treats. Right. And we make scooped ice cream and 500 ml pots for Super Value Ireland, so we do. And you make it in Cavan? We make it here in Cavan at the Cavan Enterprise Centre, out beside the Hotel Kilmore in Kilgarry. Yeah, and what flavours have you? So we have a wide variety of flavours from bubblegum, pistachio, Snickers. And we've also won a few awards as well. Yes, so, tell us about the awards. So last year, we're only three years in business this year, and last year we won a, um, a Blossom Hair and Silver Award for our vanilla scooped ice cream. Oh. And only last week we won a Great Taste Award for our Super Value Signature Taste Irish Cream Liqueur ice cream. So the Great Taste is basically like the food Oscars. So to get any sort of recognition now is quite massive for, for such a small company, so it is. It is, brilliant. Yeah. And, and we're all, also up for a Quality Irish Award now in September. And uh, are you on the internet? We are on Facebook and we're on Twitter, so we are. Yeah. And what is the... So our uh, Twitter is Ice Cream Treats 4 and our Facebook page is Ice Cream Treats. Oh, what, what's your name? Lisa Clark. And... Eva Hanley. The two of you together? Yeah. So. Well, it wasn't all eats and treats with Patsy and not just tasting all the lovely ice creams and things like that. He also had a little bit of time to get round to those beautiful, fantastic craft beer and cider stalls. And the wines. Don't forget the wines. Pardon? Easy knowing I found a stall where you get a drink. Well, you've come to the right stall. <laughs> Tell us about yourselves and Long well, Meadow. Long Meadow Cider's been on the go now for over three years. Right. So it has, it has, won, it has won the Great Taste Awards over three years in a row. It has won the Blossom Hearn Awards. Oh. It also lifted it on, it also lifted another award last night. Last, it, yep. last night? Yep. So it's going very well. Like, and are, I, you, are you involved with them? Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm the... You're the, the lad that picks the apples. I'm the, the head, the head <laughs> of the cat. <laughs> When did you start it up? Three years ago. Just three years? Yeah, three years ago. Yeah. And what brought the idea to you? Well, we grew our own apple store. All right, go on. Right. Your Hello. name is? Gareth Keogh from Wines Direct. From where? Wines Direct in Mullingar. Yeah. Can you tell me about your wine? Yeah, please? of course. Uh, well, I'd be able to see. Where is this one from? This comes from, uh, the first one comes from, uh, comes from, Puglia, which is right in the heel of Italy, so it's Primitivo, and uh, it's a bit off dry. What I mean by that is that you get sweet and you get dry, off dry, sort of in the middle. So it's not, it's, it's, it's a little bit sweet. Yes, yes. Very nice. And just compare, yes, to see which one that you want. This is called Alcumi Shiraz. This comes from uh, Franklin River, which is Western Australia. Alcumi means the place that we found an Aboriginal, and this is 18 months in uh, French oak. They actually bring local uh, barrels up from France. Why is that? Because the way they actually, why is that important? It's the way they burn them in the centre. I mean, American oak, like bourbon and all that, it's, uh, it gives you a sweet texture. You don't get the same with French oak. You get a bit more, a little bit more, not as much vanilla, a little bit more smokiness, and a little bit more. Let's see if you're right. Yeah, it's, it's, well, you're the taster, so you have to tell me. <laughs> Definitely less sweet. Yeah. And it is definitely more smoky. And it's something I wouldn't have ever thought of. Alcumi. It's very nice. And I like Shiraz actually normally. 
It's like it's uh, again all these uh, kind of small family run vineyards. All these, they're all independent, so nothing. Uh, we go there. Direct, we go there directly. So, uh, so it's, uh, it's so uh, the I'll get the price list together there. The uh, the primitivo is uh, that I just showed you. That's four euros, and the uh, trasviano is five. Good choice. Excellent. And I shall return. Excellent. I'll be here waiting for you. There we go. So that, in a nutshell, is what we do. We try to communicate, demystify wine for people because it's all made by farmers at the end of the day. Yeah. It's, uh, and it's, uh, it's great. It's uh, all should taste like where it came from. We were just there. We supply a lot of restaurants here in uh, in um, in Cavan. One of my customers was just there with Nevin. I was in with. Uh, with uh, St. Kieran's uh, there we've got a great new chef and he's trying to grow everything locally and it's all about like everything should have a, ten a sense of place a sense of time it's, it's like back down to good farming at the end of the day it's uh, people tend to mystify uh, wine with all these high fluting words but uh, essentially it comes down to thank you you're more than welcome there you go enjoy that enjoy your burger now thank you but uh, what it comes down to at the end of the day is like Giving some uh, somebody good value and giving somebody something something different, and giving some something that you gives pleasure. Yeah. So it's a great job, Tom. Yeah, it is a great yeah. job. It's true. But uh, have you got internet? Have you yeah, internet? we do. Sorry, we're winesdirect.ie. We're available also shopping in Mullingar, where we t uh, where we uh, we have wines open for tasting as well. We're just uh, the far side of Castle 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 Power, the Castle Power yeah. exit uh, in Mullingar, and we can you can also ring us up. On, uh, and phone number. Uh, phone number one eight ninety five seven nine five seven nine. It rhymes with wine. One eight ninety five seven nine five seven nine. So you can go ahead now and tell me all about Scott Cider. So Scott Cider is uh, made in uh, Cavan Town in the Cavan Enterprise Cider. We're we're up and running now, just over our second year now. So uh, on the cider cider making is very akin to uh, wine making. Like you're always working a year ahead. So uh, our cider is uh, gluten-free and vegan-friendly. Um, we in the autumn we harvest the apples in the autumn. Uh, the apples are pressed and then it's fermented out and matured for six months. So you're all, you, that way you're getting the, the flavours, the, the tannins that tend to soften. So they need to be matured and it, it helps the aromas that come through in it. So then after after it's matured for six months, we blend. Uh, each apple is uh, fermented individually and then we after we mature it. We uh, we blend it just before bottling. Yeah. And you have several different sorts of cider, have you? Yeah. So basically, uh, we have, we have three in a range at the moment. Yeah. We have a dry cider, a medium dry, and a summer medium. It's a they're basically blended to people's palates. If people like dry white wine, they like the dry cider. The medium dry is a nice kind of balance between sweet and dry. And then the summer medium is a little bit sweeter for people who like 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 so a little bit more sugar sweeter products and where, where can people get hold of your cider um, at, the, at the moment it's available through uh, most of the super values uh, the local pubs were around Cavan Town uh, a lot of specialist off licenses up in Dublin and O'Brien's Wines as well in Dublin which is uh, it's 30 outlets around the country so, yeah. and why have you stags that's what I'd like to make um, the sta <laughs> stags are it's to do with the, the, obviously Scots is the family name so yeah. it's, uh, it's to do with the family crest you've got, you got stags in it yeah, so, oh yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And where are you from yourself? I'm um, originally from Banya, which is just out the road there from Calvin Town, so yeah, oh. originally from there, yeah. yeah. Just beside yeah, Banya? Yeah, just beside Banya. I grew up there on the farm there beside Banya, yeah. After copiously sampling lots of those lovely craft beers, craft ciders, wines and things like that, Patsy went on to sample some of the other goods at A Taste of Cavan. It's not just about a taste of our produce that you eat and you drink, but there's also crafts and other supplies and other things to uh, enjoy at A Taste of Cavan. There's something there for everybody. Whether you're an old age pensioner, a middle aged or a young kid, you're going to have a great time at A Taste of Cavan. So let's hear a little bit more from our out there reporter in more ways than one, Patsy Sheridan. Your name for us, guys. <laughs> yeah, go on. Give us your name. Hello, Alvin Good from GT Electric in Cavan Town here at the Tasty Cavan in the Question Centre. Fantastic event, and um, it's great to see so many people here and so many stand holders. And uh, whereabouts in Cavan Town are you based now? Situated, you know, like 
like you can't just walk up the cab and turn and that. We're situated at um, Shopping Arcade, Main Street Cab, which is beside the AB Bank, in the AB Bank and the Main Street Cab yeah. Park on the walkway. And you're 44 years going? Yeah, we started in 1972, yes, 44 yeah. years ago, and it's our second year to do this event. We're having